Hi there folks, welcome along to my new life. This is Walter P. Barnstormer and this is Elm Creek. We are here and we have set ourselves up. We've uh, just treated ourselves to this new little homestead, doing a bit of a uh, small property ownership. And we've got ourselves in a bit of a pickle already actually. 48,000 pounds in the bank. Yay, that's wonderful. Loads of money you might think, but we have 175,000 in debt. Yeah, unfortunately I had to sell up a few things, borrow a bit of money, moved out here, bought this little site, a few bits and pieces of equipment, but it's expensive living out here. So accumulated a fair bit of debt. Right, nice little pickup. Always like a bit of retro. I did treat myself to a lovely little Massey Ferguson out here. It's small, but it's punchy. 140 horsepower, I believe it is. Uh, brand spanking new, first new tractor I've ever owned. And I think what we're going to do, we've got ourselves a few fields, but realistically we are way, way, way too small. We we cannot support ourselves at the minute. So I'm going to be looking at setting myself up as a bit of a contractor for the start. Going out, helping the neighbours, seeing what I can do for them. Trying to bring in a bit of cash. It's August now. So the year's already getting on. We have this wheat field, we really need to get it in, but we have no combine. So I don't know how we're going to manage that. If we take a little look actually and see when we can harvest wheat and what kind of money is it worth. So at the minute, you know, we're getting 1100. And where is that screen that tells us when we can harvest stuff? There we go. So wheat. August, this is it, we have to harvest today, really, otherwise that crop is gone. I have a feeling we're going to lose that crop this year. Unfortunately, there's just nothing I can do. Even if we go out and look, I mean, can we hire in something? Uh, harvesters, the smallest harvester we have, £75,000 to buy. It's way outside that, so, well, yeah, we can't afford, we can't afford the rental. Been looking as well, we even have a couple of mods released already now, so this was 75. Get myself a Dominator. 70,000 pounds, so that's going to be roughly the same again to rent. Three and a half thousand plus the header. You know, you know, actually it might be worth it. That might be worth it, but we don't have a lot of money to play with here. And I'm wary, I'm very wary of spending too much money because we're going to have a long hard winter ahead of us. Looking around, seeing what kind of contracts we've got here. We do have a sprayer, so uh, we could do a bit of spray work. Um, it's using our own tractor, so we'd be saving ourselves a few pounds, making 3,000. But we would have to get some herbicide. So this is for herbicide, herbicide, and herbicide. They're all for herbicide. Uh, so what I might do is prioritize getting in a few pounds first. If I do this contract, and it kind of gets me enough money, actually. I can justify hiring that combine. I'm kind of getting it almost for free. So what do you say? Field number 59. Where is 59 and what size is it? It's a fair bit of money, so I'm assuming it's going to be pretty big. There we are over there, the other side of the map. We are located up here at the minute. You can see here. We own fields 44, 45 and 46. It's so actually 59. It's not too far away. Just a drive around the road. I'll tell you what. We are going to start our career out here by doing something for somebody else. <laughs> um, we will accept that. So in order to do that, I now need to go and get myself some herbicide. So I wonder if we can get it in this. Can we get it in uh, big bags or does it only come? Yeah, I was going to say it's going to only come in liquid, isn't it? So it's going to be a pallet. Pallet herbicide, two and a half thousand. Okay, ouch. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's expensive. That That's pretty much taken up the entire contract as it is. 2,000 litres right now, so it's quite a big quantity. But yeah, wow, okay, that was, that was pricey. So we've started off by spending money. Money we cannot afford to spend. Now, one thing I will say before I start, I haven't quite got around to setting up my wheel yet. So, um... I'm back onto the keyboard after all of about three episodes previously where I managed to get the wheel out. 
haven't got it set up quite yet, but I will get round to doing that hopefully sometime later tonight. So this is our little sprayer. I say little, it's nothing's little out here. We're in America now, so everything's pretty big. I did try unfolding this earlier and wow, well, I had to put it away. It was driving down the road at the time and yeah, it was just just much too big, it was wasn't gonna clear the road. But we don't live too far from the shop, thankfully, so I'll nip down to here, quickly pick up the herbicide, get ourselves loaded up, and get down to field number 59. And just as we're driving down here, about to turn into the shop, now take a little look around the cab of this thing. I mean, look at this setup. There's too many buttons, I don't know what any of these things do. Um, buttons, dials, flashy lights, I... Yeah, I don't know, I'm going to break something in this thing. Oh, look where I'm going, I'm nearly off the road. So I don't think that's the shop, is it this next one? Oh, hang on, have I gone past the shop? You know what, I think I have. Let's do a bit of a U-turn in the middle of the road. I'm sure the Americans don't mind that. There we go, yeah, we're going in here. You can see our herbicide down there, we can get in there. Too busy looking at all the switches and buttons. Missed my turning. So, I've got my trusty forks on already. And missed the pallet. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's much nicer than FS19. That went straight in there. Right, so field number 59. Where are we going to for that? We are heading out of here. Straight on down the road. And we'll find it down at the corner. We'll see you down there. Right, folks. Well, one thing I have learned already is this is a big map. Um, I thought, you know, I would just drive around here every two minutes. It's it's taken me five minutes to drive around here. Maybe not five minutes, but it certainly feels like it's taken me a long time. I mean, this, yeah, this is a big old map. Don't underestimate the size of Elm Creek, that's for sure. So, I'll start off. Get my pump out and get my sprayer filled up. Make the most of my 2,000 pounds and now we'll get to see just how big this thing actually is. I mean, I, I opened it up earlier and yeah, it's, it's a big working width. We'll take a little look actually and see just what is the size of it. And not that one, I want this menu. So equipment that I own, sprayers, this one. It is 24 meters. Yeah, I can work with this. And here we go. We are spraying on FS22. Wonder can we drop it down? Or is that it down? And that seems to be as low as it wants to go. But hopefully, we get it back inside the field. And try and keep it as straight as possible so we're not wasting anything. With the money we bring in from the likes of this. I mean, yeah, it's going to take a few trips up and down this field. The money we bring in from this, hopefully that'll, at least as we say, pay for the combine. So 59. Can we see how we're getting on in the contract? Yeah. It's progressing along anyway. 20% through. second now we'll finish this one up. And there we go and a little achievement for it as well. I do wonder, I did get all the achievements last time on FS19 and I don't really know how or why or what I did to actually get them. <laughs> 
Um, but I do remember that I actually got them all. I didn't get them all in 17. Oh, this this guy's been sitting watching me. I think he's been stuck behind my uh, pallet of herbicide for some reason. He probably could have just driven around there. So what I will do is just refill it whilst I'm here as well and take that opportunity. A bit less weight on the front loader as I drive back up the road. Oh, definitely they've improved the physics of the forklift or of the front loader. And pallet forks going in and out of pallets, or at least certainly seems that way so far. Now this is a good chance as well to do a bit of a map explore to drive back round here. I mean, as I said, I thought it didn't look that far on the map, but quite clearly this is, this is a large map. Um, it is your very typical American type layout, layout even. Um, lots of nice straight roads, everything's in box junctions. No roundabouts, you know, stops, give way signs, yields. Oh, there's the dairy we're passing there. May end up getting some cattle and visiting there, hopefully. Don't know how far I'll go on Elm Creek here. My priority right now is to try and just establish myself, set myself up, um, get myself out of debt. 175,000 in debt, that's going to be expensive every month. And it's already 20 to 4 in the afternoon here. I'm going to try and keep this on around about 10 times. We're playing one day per month at the minute as well. Um, I may end up having to slow down to six. I don't know. We'll get a feel for it and we'll see whereabouts we are. But yeah, I'll see you guys back at the homestead. All right, we're just going in through the tradesman's entrance here, around the back. I'm driving past our field of, I think it's wheat, wheat or barley. I'm just going to drop my container somewhere down around the back here out of the way a little bit I think the back of this shed looks fairly good uh, I must have a bit of an explore actually and see if we can get in there there we go, it looks a fairly safe place for it and I'll just drop my sprayer off beside it as well, may as well keep them both here together could really do with maybe getting them inside somewhere but uh, we haven't got those luxuries at the minute. And now that we've done the job and we've got home again, we may as well get paid for it. So we'll collect on that one, £2,947, our first bit of paid work. There is more spraying jobs available, spraying with herbicide and... What's this one? This is also herbicide and that one's also herbicide as well. Huh? 67, 61 and 40. I wonder if any of them are really local to us. Number 40, oh, number 40 is just across the road. Now that would be a very good contract to have then. Um, but I really want to get that field harvested in today. Number 40, hmm. It's the same guy again, isn't it? I'm pretty sure Samuel Ortega owned the other field as well. I'll tell you what, I am going to take that contract. I'm not going to do it straight away. I'm going to make Samuel wait to the end of the day. What we are going to do is I think it is worth bringing that wheat in. Um, I don't know if I'm wise or not. We're going to have a long hard winter ahead of us as I think, but it seems silly to have it sitting in the field and waste it. I can't afford any of these big combines, definitely not. Um, we've got this Dominator mod that's come out already. Uh, I'm tempted just to do it for the sake of trying, trialing the new mod. Um, I don't know if it's been released by Giants, who's released it, where it's come from, but yeah, there's a few ones in there already, so you know what? I think we're going to give this a go. Three and a half thousand. Yeah, we'll rent it. And one thing I really do like now is you see this combinations button. You can click it and it takes you in automatically and shows you which headers, which header trailers, etc. all go with it. So this is great. It's not the biggest header in the world by any means, five meters. But oh, we're only going to use this very quickly. Eight and a half thousand pounds. There's no point in me buying this because I don't think I'm going to have this combine back again. £433? Yeah, I'll lease the whole thing then. So I shall exit back out of that and then get myself down to the shop. So whilst we're here, I'll just take a little look at this one as well. I do really like these new models. I mean, just look at the detail on that, the texturing, the, the cushioning, the padding, pa padding, padding around there. I've even got aircon. It's always been needed out here. Uh, yeah, I mean, really well modeled kits, these. 
Oh, she's an import from Germany. That's shown on the back of it. Must have come across in the boat. But I think she'll do us nicely here. It's cost us a bit of money. Though I did see there was actually a harvesting contract as well there, but I think it might take a long time to do one in this. So I would say this will probably go into the silo until I get desperate and need the money. Um, 45,000 in the bank? Oh, it's going to be a long winter. I think I've said that a few times now. <laughs> yeah, I'm setting myself up for this. I'll be interested to see how much my loan payments are every day. So get this one in, get it unfolded. Drop the header down and away we go. This is it, the first harvest on FS22. Um, I'm going to have to chop the straw for it. I don't want to, but I, I just can't afford to bale it at the minute. It would be great if I could. I suppose, in theory, I could go out and lease a baler as well, but I don't want to be going around just leasing everything. I would much, much prefer to buy it and have it myself. Especially for equipment that I use routinely and regularly. I can see through it for one-off things or for incredibly expensive purchases. But um, for things like bealers, trailers, stuff like that, no, I think I want to try and keep to purchasing them. I mean, even an expense like this, this combine. This one isn't so bad, so yeah, I definitely look at purchasing a cheap combine. I'm going to have three fields eventually to deal with, so I'm going to need that. I can't, can't keep hiring stuff in at three, four thousand pounds a time. That's the first field harvested. I've got to say, it's been a it's been a nice bit of use out of this combine, but yeah, paid a lot of money just to do this. I kind of feel like I should be going off and doing a harvesting contract just to get a bit more value out of my three thousand pounds. It's quite a small header though, so I might bring up the screen, have a little look, see what size those fields were. But yeah, realistically, it's it's going to be hard to do contracts for something this size, I think. But. 3,695 litres out of my own field. Not the biggest one, but this is a field that hasn't had any lime ploughing, hasn't had any fertiliser, nothing in it, so can't expect too much off it. Didn't even need the trailer for this one. It's kind of unfortunate, actually. So let's see the contracts that we do have here. I'm assuming I can only have one contract at, the, at a time. Um, harvesting fields 66, 69. So what kind of sizes are these fields? 66. Is this, oh, 66 is a really small little one. Uh, 69 is a huge one. Um, but then I'm assuming 66 probably pays quite poorly. Or is it? Yeah, 410 pounds. It's probably not really worth my time going all the way across there. It's canola, so it could do it, could do it with that header and feed and green south. Is where it wants me to take it to. So where are there? It's not too far away, but it's quite a drive down there in the combine to do that and drop it off there. But no, for 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 that kind of money, no, I'm afraid it's just not worth it. Wow, so that combine's got a really easy life off it, but there's no point in me keeping it any longer. Just take one last look around it. First mod of 2022, day one mod one. A little bit of wear on the auger there already. The Dominator 108. It is a nice looking class machine though. Well, thank you very much. Unfortunately, it's time for you to go back to the shop again as well. So, least items. We can return from here, so we'll return that. And then return the combine itself as well. So, the price of wheat at the minute. 
that's this one and show price fluctuation chips so over three and a half thousand the best price we have is goldcrest valley oh, that's that's a familiar name and we're in august and yeah the price is rock bottom and dropping next month it starts going up a little bit again but we're having to wait until january before we're getting top dollar for it don't know how much did i say it was um, at the minute getting around about 1100 it looks like it'll go up fairly substantially so yeah it's really worth keeping it for now so we did say we would take on that other spraying contract before it gets too dark well, I can hook this trailer off again it wasn't needed in the end I'll go put my sprayer back on I may as well drop off my forks here as well because I don't think I'll need them I'll have more than enough herbicide in here already to finish that one off Let's see if I can reverse all the way down this lane. I'll keep the front loader on, there's no need to be taking that off. And what did we say? The field was just across the road, wasn't it? So field number 40 there, we can see it flashing. That's trying to tell me that I've got some work outstanding on it. So this little massey that I bought as well, um, it's kind of almost almost like a subcompact type tractor. Um, I mean, just bump up over the curb here. See, no reason why not. Yeah, it's not it's not like one of the little reap type tractors, but um, 140 horse, I think it is 140, 145. Uh, it looks really well equipped. Again, as I say, really well finished inside. We'll get these mighty sprayers out again. I can put narrow tires on it as well, so whenever it comes to doing some kind of field work with the crop destruction on, I don't have to worry about uh, tramping all over my crop. I suppose I should really put a set on for doing the lights of this as well. But um, the game obviously doesn't punish me for using wide tires whenever I'm doing contracting work. So, a quick run up and down here, hopefully a bit more successfully than the last time. I'll get it all in one pass and try to waste as little as possible. Well, we've just finished up and not a second too soon. The sun is setting, 7 p.m. So I think that's going to be our first day done on Elm Creek. Oh, we've got post in the post box. Um, should wait and see what I've got. No, on my luck, it's probably going to be a bill. Um, well, I'm certainly going to get a loan bill tonight anyway. That's going to be interesting, see how much it's going to cost me every day. I really need to start trying to pay that off as well. Um, oh, I can't see anything behind me, so this will be fun. Missing anything in the mirrors? Yeah. Get it backed into there. Drop it off there for now. Turn the lights off. And yeah, I think this is going to pretty much wrap up our first day here, guys. I will try to keep this to about one episode or one day per episode. Um, it still seems like a fairly nice piece. So we can see rain on the horizon here as well. I'll skip through to the next day. I think this is where I do it from. I'm assuming where it is anyway. Um, get up nice and early again in the morning, say, uh, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock seems very early. I'll try 7 o'clock, sleep in, I'm still a bit jet lagged. I'll do this now and see just how much my loan costs me. Um, because this could be a big determining factor in how successful this one's going to be. Oh, so 4,000 pounds, well, $500 a day on loan interest. It's, uh, it's maybe not crippling, it's going to be expensive, but... We'll have to find a way of paying that debt down. So we're in September now. And folks, I will see you back again shortly, where we will continue this. As ever, I have been Walter P. Barnstormer. Thank you very much. If you enjoy the videos, do those normal YouTube things. Like, share and subscribe. We will see you back here shortly on Elms Creek. Bye now.